I'm back! Hi everybody, welcome back. I am Hannah Evans. I am a pop artist and voice teacher. It's been a little while, so I'm really, really sorry about that. I mean, some of you may know, but I did move to London about six months ago and it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. It's just been a crazy time. I feel like I really, really needed time to just settle in and get used to the London life. I don't know if I have many UK subscribers. I think they're mainly US, but essentially I was living about an hour outside of London and I just felt like I was coming into London so much um, that it just made sense to move but obviously moving to a new city is not simple um, and I was doing it basically alone so it was quite intense but you know I honestly absolutely absolutely loving it here so it felt right to get back to doing something else that I love which is YouTube so here I am I'm back and I'm so happy to be I am super excited to be reacting to someone who I am loving right now and is also a hot topic so it felt like you know it was just right to do a video about and that is Renee Rapp I absolutely love her I think her voice is incredible obviously she has that theatre background I love her music as well which is the best thing because sometimes you have really great singers but you just don't really vibe with their music that much which is you know life but <laughs> it's really amazing to have someone whose voice I love so much and music I love so much so honestly I'm so excited to do this I actually had the pleasure of going and seeing Renee Rat at an acoustic show in London last week which was incredible she was so amazing so I know this performance is going to be great I haven't watched it before so this is my blind reaction but I do know the song and I do know her voice so I'm excited I needed someone good to get me back into doing these videos and make me excited about it so yeah I really really am keen to listen to this performance and react to it today of course if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe on your way out check out all the extended versions of these videos on patreon I'm gonna be much better on patreon this time as well <laughs> So yeah, get on that if you can. If you are struggling with power in your head voice, you know, when people are in the studio, what she's done there is incredible, really great for stamina purposes. Too much of anything can make you sick, as Cheryl Cole said it best. I'm so excited to do this. Okay, let's jump in. I'm prepared, I have my tea, I have a new haircut, I'm ready for Renee. I mean, I honestly, honestly was tempted to do wispy fringe. <laughs> like Renee is that really sad is that really fangirl I just love it and you know sometimes like I feel like I haven't seen hair and a fringe like that in a while and it really suits someone and I was like can I pull that off I mean I walked in and my hair just said no so <laughs> it's a no apparently so I went for these instead but um yeah I am still kind of jealous when I look at her hair it might happen it might happen one day I might just say well I don't care I'm gonna do it anyway uh because Renee said so but we'll see anyway ladies and gentlemen Renee Rapp <laughs> oh, I'd be so scared to start lying down Okay, I'm not gonna let her get into the chorus because I need to <laughs> I need to talk about that first. Oh, incredible. I mean, lying down, I would be so scared to do that because everything feels different when you're lying down. Everything in your body feels different. Everything in terms of your breathing mechanism feels very, very different lying down. So, and she has a corset on. <laughs> so, I would probably feel quite restricted, I think, breathing wise, lying down in a corset, but she's great. She's doing it. She sounds just as amazing as she does on the record, if not better. I do love live voices better in general. She just sounds amazing. She sounds so, so great. I really love that she's starting out in this super 
breathy, but it's not too breathy. It's it's still got a bit of strength to it. I mean, especially that pre-chorus bit where she goes into, and the tip of my nose. She's not super breathy. There's like this nice strength to it, but she is head voicing it and it sounds lovely. It just sounds really musical. She's phrasing it really, really well. I love the dynamics of it all. First See, I feel like we're in mix there first because it's not first to arrive. It's not head voice, but it's not first to arrive. We're not chesting. We are probably in mix there, but it's lovely. It's really nice. I really like it. First to Yeah, nice. So she's giving a little bit more chest on those low notes. Without company. Like she's just giving it a little bit more, a little bit more breath, a little bit more power. She's coming a bit more into chest rather than mix just on those lower notes. And so it's kind of complementing the parts of her range that she's singing in. It's amazing. I feel the tip of my nose. It's burning my eyes cold. Yes. Oh, so much to talk about. So, so much to talk about there. So the main thing is, again, the register switches. We're getting a little bit more of a proper vocal flip in there this time. I'll make it through the wind. Like that. Obviously, again, I'm exaggerating that, but we're hearing that nice vocal flip in there, which is lovely. I really like that. She's obviously doing it on purpose and it just sounds so wonderful. I've noticed that she does that every time as well, which is to use an aspirate onset before Arl Angel in the Snow. She does Harl Angel in the Snow, and I'm guessing she's just doing it to give it a little bit more breath and a bit more emotion, which is really amazing. If you listen again, you'll hear Harl Angel in the Snow, which is so cool. I love it. And then that i'm was so crispy there was like a nice little rasp in there which was really nice because again that's bringing her back into chest which is so nice she's just adding in so many of these little subtle techniques but it makes a massive difference bit of creak there i'll lay you down in the snow until i'm like that she's using that creak to transition into her chest voice which is so cool the fact that she stood up while singing as well and she's in a long skirt I mean I would have just literally toppled over and fallen over on the stage but she's a pro she's an absolute pro And we got a cry in there as well on the word half, but half alive, which is so cool. Love that. Oh, it was at the end of the word. Sorry, sorry. Oh, 
I like the lights. Okay, just before we go any further, we've got so much chess going on here, so much depth to the sound, so much power going on, which is so incredible. We're really hearing all angles of her voice here, which is insane. And yeah, I mean, I was like, ooh, the lights, because you could finally see the band in the background, but I love the vocals too, don't worry. Such nice vibrato on the me sound, on the me. There's so much vibrato going on there. Sorry if I just hurt your ears, but I just love that. It's really strong and yeah, just sounds so supported and healthy. Make it through the terrific Yeah, we're getting such a drop jaw on that hurry and then a cry as well, which was so good. Again, that helps to anchor you into that mixed place and a really nice supported belt sound. So she's really utilizing everything she has in her vocabulary. Yeah, she's doing the aspirate onset again on the beginning of Isle. And I've noticed that she does this a lot in her head voice. She has this little like rasp that comes in, which is really nice. You don't hear that often. And I think that it makes her sound really, really unique. So yeah, I really, really love that from her. Beautiful. Queen. Absolutely. Oh, incredible. So good. So amazing. So much power, so much emotion, and just incredible technique. So amazing. She is just incredible. I really, yeah, <laughs> worship her voice. She is amazing. She was so in tune and so perfectly rounded within the vowels and yeah yeah one thing i really really like about the way she does this is how she mimics the emotion within two lines that sing the same melody but like i say they have two different emotions to them and she mimics that within her vocal techniques so those lines are I met a boy and then he broke my heart so it's like I met a boy and it's like he broke my heart and all the instrumentation comes in at that point as well and it's like oh it's like the heartbreak you're like getting hit with it and she does that so well she goes I met a boy he broke my heart it's just incredible she really yeah, it's just so good. Listen to it. <laughs> Look at how relaxed her face is. Her face is so relaxed. She's just got obviously a bit of facial expression in her eyes <laughs> and then the jaw is dropped but the rest of her face completely relaxed and she's 
belting it and it sounds amazing and that just shows me that she is in her body relaxed she knows what she's doing obviously not too relaxed we do obviously need power and breath (laughs) coming through and support but she is relaxed enough that this is not strain this is not tension she has got support not tension She's got loads of cries going on. This is something that I hear in her voice a lot. But yeah, loads of cries going on, which is lovely. I really like that. She hasn't used too many of them throughout the rest of the song so that she can really go for it here. Yeah, amazing. I mean... That is one powerful mix that is so powerful. That's so chesty, but it's so high. I'm just gonna look at what that note is. Love that I've got my piano in here now. (laughs) Okay, so the highest note she sings is an F5. (laughs) That's really high. (laughs) That's really, really high to be mixing like that. And honestly, her technique just doesn't falter at any moment. The quality of the sound is the exact same throughout all of those notes, which is incredible because Christ, that is high. Yeah, amazing. And again. Oh, that was nice. That was incredible. I really, really liked how she went into head voice first. But then what I found interesting was that she creaked back into chesty mix it definitely wasn't fully chest but you know we are in chest a bit it was definitely mix and it almost gave it again a spoken effect ah oh, wonderful so head voice I wish I went. so really breathy probably the breathiest we've heard out throughout the whole song and then a different way so creaked back into mix so nice and we're not getting any vibrato there on that mix either so like i said it's giving it that spoken effect which is so nice Yes, I loved that. I love that we got a couple opt-ups. So nice. Oh, yay. I love that she changed the melody a little bit there just to give us something a little bit different. I don't feel like it needs anything else because she's so powerful in the way that she sings it anyway. But I love, honestly, I felt this when she sang when I saw her at the acoustic gig um, last week, I feel like she finds ways to keep it interesting, which is so nice. And again, uh, just another amazing, you know, indicator to me that she is a great musician because if you're changing things all the time and finding ways to keep it fresh, it's because you really care about the music and because you want it to feel fresh all the time. You know, when you're singing the same songs all the time, it does you know inevitably get a little bit boring and you don't want that to come across to your audience you want it to stay fresh and yeah I again I mean that's how I feel from watching that I'm like oh we got something different I love that I think that's really incredible okay I absolutely 
absolutely loved that. I love Renee. I'm so keen to do more reactions of her. If you've got any suggestions, please do drop them in the comments because I, I loved that. That was amazing. Yeah, I was so happy to be back. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just so happy to be back doing what I'm doing. I'm opening up my lessons for new students again, which is just amazing. It's so nice to just be back in this realm. And I absolutely love that song as well. She is just incredible. I really, really love her music. She's a really great writer as well. So yeah, amazing. Okay, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. This was so much fun. I am so excited to be doing more of this. Of course, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Check out all the extended versions of these videos on Patreon. And I hope you have a lovely, lovely week. I will see you next Friday. Goodbye.